Since now, you may have had a difficult time getting prescription medications for ADHD. Tonight, Meg Ferris shows us what's going on and has medical advice on what to do and what not to do. These are just uh, generic Adderall. The shelves at Majoria Pharmacy are sparse where stimulant medications sit for attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. Customers we've had for 10 years plus uh, coming in for their ADHD drugs and we just don't have them. We order them every day and sometimes they show up, sometimes they don't and it's very frustrating. And the several months long shortage spans different brands. All the substitutes all fall into the same class, same category. And it just we can't get Vyvanse, we can't get Adderall, we can't get Focalin. So what's going on? Well, psychiatrist Dr. Mark Sands says the FDA regulates how much pharmaceutical companies are allowed to make each year. And that's only 10 percent more than the year before. The shortage comes in because each year during the pandemic, there was an increase in ADHD diagnoses in children, adolescents, and adults. So there was an increase in prescriptions written. It's a genetic disorder. And if the structure is taken away from you, now if you lose the structure of school, if you lose the structure of your workplace, all of a sudden, it's harder to function. People with mild or moderate conditions who were able to function before now have more distractions. He said without the medication, they're more at risk for car wrecks and making risky decisions in social settings. And the pharmacist reminds us that a lot of these medications are time release. So you should never split a capsule or split a tablet unless your doctor has told you what to do and how to do it. So, what should you do? If they can't get their long acting, they can move to a short acting. If they can't find a amphetamine type of compound, they can move to a methylphenidate. And above all, don't just stop taking your medication. Meg Ferris, Eyewitness News, Medical Watch. Dr. Sand says conditions like learning disabilities and anxiety can also look like ADHD. So the correct diagnosis should not be made at a school, but rather with a specific evaluation designed by the American Academy of Pediatrics given in your doctor's office.